Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn how you can use HTML color picker to quickly pick any colors as you work on HTML or CSS file. It is very easy and quickest way I have found to pick colors. You will need a software called Notepad++, which is a better version of Microsoft Notepad. If you don't have that, you can simply Google Notepad++. It is free, open source, and, and by far better alternative to Microsoft Notepad. Or if you would like, you can check out the description of this video and I'm going to share a video to show you how to install Notepad++. So once you have Notepad++, you can simply install a color picker. In order to do that, you have to go to plugins and go to plugins admin and then just search for quick color picker. And as you type, you can see it starts to narrow down the search results. And right here is the one that we are interested, quick color picker plus. So select that. If you would like to learn more about it, you can go to the GitHub page and read more about it. But for us, we know that this is what we want. So just click on install here. And Notepad++ will, plus plus will restart once in order to install this plugin. So click yes and yes. And it shouldn't take too long before it actually installs Color Picker. Once you install this plugin, you can go to plugins and you should be able to see Quick Color Picker plugin menu. From here, you can select the color palette the, uh, tool that you're quite familiar. And so here you can see it, it has a hex code or RGB code for HTML. And so you can pick your color and then click on it and it should show you that code, right? Now, if I go back, if I would like to pick a color from an image, uh, I can actually pick the second one, pick color from screen. Or so if I click on this, now I have this a magnifying glass kind of a color picker tool and I can just narrow it down to the color that I want and just click on it and you can see it just picks that color. Now let's go to our HTML file here. I have a very simple HTML file and if I would like to change the color, for example, right here, if I double click on it, that tool also shows up. So it is, you don't even have to go to this main item. You just simply double click on the color and you would be able to change the color. If I click on this, I can pick any color as like uh, what we just saw, right? So for example here, and now I double click on it. If I click on these three dots, uh, again, this is more familiar color tool. So you can pick any colors, you can change the hue and, and all the other uh, color related uh, items. And you can pick, once you pick the right color, you just simply click okay, and it should update your color uh, color code. Same thing would also work with CSS. So here I have a style.css. And let's say this is the color that I would like to change. I just simply double click on it. And again, you can see that tool shows up. You can change that. You can change and pick this color. Uh, or you can even pick your own color. Now, if you would like to create a shortcut for a color picker, you can also create that shortcut in Notepad++. Uh, you simply have to go to Tools, or, sorry, Settings. Uh, and go to shortcut mapper and then go, go to plugin commands and then here in the filter just type quick or let's type color uh, so as you type all the plugin related menu item shows up here and so here is the one that we are uh, interested to create a shortcut for so let's double click on this open color palette and then let's assign a particular keyboard shortcut so Control alt shift and let's say P, a P for palette, by the way. So click OK. And it did assign the shortcut to this particular command. Now, one thing you have to be careful, if you assign a very generic kind of a shortcut, it may complain that it's already been uh, used in Notepad++. For our case, it already says that no shortcut conflict exists. And so make sure that you pick a color shortcut that is a little more uh, you know, involved rather than just uh, control C, control V kind of a thing. All right. So click close. And now if I want to bring that, that palette tool, I just have to press control shift and alt and P and you can see it just shows up. And if I click on it, I can see the color. So this is, as I said, this is the easiest way to pick colors in HTML or CSS file. So I hope you like this video. If you did, just click on the like button. And check out my channel. If you like the content of my channel, then please subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you.